Okay, all of us here know that there's a clinical requirement that's supposed to be improved by the riding here at Shea, and that is self-regulation. I had a horse who was so tense, he was very talented, but so tense that I had to go pee three times tacking him up every day because I was so nervous to ride him. And the only thing, the, ma the only help the major gave me with that was he said, oh my dear, you must heal his nervous system. And I was like, I, 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 I was, he was a nervous wreck and so was I. And it took time, but it, it's not a moral issue and it's not a guru or Zen issue to learn to be calm, cool, and collected. It's a cavalry issue. And the horses have to, too. That he has more hinges and that he flexes his joints are other instructions I was given. And us and the horses... The way of going in the good riding comes from us having more hinges, especially the hinges of our hip to leg, and same with the horse. Back to hip to leg, that structure, it has to soften. And the only way to do this is to soften the tissue that surrounds those joints. It's the surface area that's in contact with the horse the idea of being jello or a flat tire or as one nation's manual stated that the tissue in our seats has to be the consistency of the pads of louis braille's fingertips so a blind person's fingertips that's how soft and sensitive your tissue needs to be and muscle doesn't do that flesh Plain flesh does that. So our whole body has to be like that in order to teach the horse's bodies to be like that because that is the only kind of tissue, decontracted soft tissue, that can transmit, that is conductive of motion, power, and information. So cool, calm, and collected isn't a moral or, or spiritual thing. It is a physical thing that we call up and that we build and develop and maintain in riding. And it does transfer to everything else. And the way that we do this is we add deliberate softening of our entire body, which includes exhaling. Cause that makes more room. It literally makes more room to have more hinges. We literally soften before every phrase in riding, whether that is go, stop, or turn. Soften, then speak. Another way, riders also call this the half halt or the calling to attention making him ready for what comes next. And I think you guys know it as the preparatory command. It precedes the command of execution. Make yourself ready. Prepare, soften, and he will start to do it when you do. Well done. You are a good boy. You're a good boy. 